myself manoj kumar regional pf commissioner rajamundri uh, basically i will discuss the epfo major initiatives whatsoever we have taken uh, until now uh, the gist of the uh, 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 initiative is that we have shifted from manual arena to ita's arena what uh, uh, ita's has done that uh, we have reduced the use of paper that is the number one number two we have made the life of the employee very easy as well as we have made the life of the employer very easy how it uh, how it was done we have used we have uh, used the ites and we have made uh, employee recognized by the epfo directly without any interference of the employer through kyc mode so i will i will tell uh, one by one all those steps what we have taken Uh, we have made the unified portal for the employer and employee employer uh, can get the service like uh, filing ecr challans everything in uh, through unified portal itself and employee can uh, see their balances see uh, can file their uh, claims can get the status of the claim can get the balances of the office account everything everything they will get in the unified portal there is no need to come to office for any sort of inquiry because whatsoever the information is it is available on unified portal then uh, what we have done because we we are now knowing the employee directly through kyc the aadhar and bank account so uh, we are settling the claim many of the claim we are settling on auto mode because uh, the they will file the claim in unified portal and it will be settled through system not through the clerk can all so uh, many of the claim are being settled automatically so it is taking very less time the process time has has been reduced in during covid time many offices has got workload much like bandra bangalore chennai gurugram noida so uh, what we have done we were settling claim of even bandra here uh, so distribution of workload was made easy through this application of the its then uh, there is umang portal umang app is there government of india app is there epfo is on that app employee and employer service are available through uh, is in umang portal employee can file their claim they can see their balances in employee uh, umang portal and uh, they can see the status of their claim even the pensioner data is available in umang portal then uh, epfo uh, we what we are doing we are uh, informing the employee that which month contribution we have received or what is the total balance updated balance in their account and if employer is being defaulted in their payment through, uh, we are sending sms not only to the employer employer are getting sms and email that you have not contributed for this particular month but employee are also getting sms that your employer has not contributed so that the employee can approach their employer and employer will feel feel pressurized and they will contribute the whole idea is that employer should not uh, get defaulted uh, then what we have done we, we have launched e nomination facility e nomination facility is that if any member is making e nomination uh, their nominee will get a uh, pension uh, through online mode Uh, without running post to pillar what happens that any pensioner dies there are so many documentary work he has to make if he nomination is not there so now through e nomination again that nominee need not to come to my office they can apply uh, through online mode we are having the facebook whatsapp twitter all account we are having we are responding to them we are getting so many references so many complaints and we are resolving those complaint uh, grievances through that we have launched also the prayas scheme what is the prayas scheme we are distributing ppo on the last uh, uh, working day of the employee this is the wonderful scheme even not, even uh, we are going to the door step of the employer and we are handing over to ppo to the retiree employee and uh, it is wonderful idea that the employee is retiring on that very same day ppo is going to their door step and handing over ppo uh, uh, kyc and all we are updating kyc means aadhar and uh, bank account we are updating even pan number we are updating who are coming under the income tax bracket whose uh, income is coming under the income tax bracket 
Date of birth and name changes, other small small rectification is there. Employee can apply through online mode. And we are rectifying within 3-4 days we are rectifying. Even PPO da master data is available on DZ Locker. DZ Locker is government of India platform where any, any citizen of government of India can open the DZ Locker and they can keep their record in that. So we, we have pushed the data of pensioner on DZ Locker itself. Uh, we are having the life certificate. There is a procedure that each, each pensioner has to uh, submit the life certificate once in a year. Now, what we have done, we have removed that criteria that in December you have to come. Any point of time, a you know, pensioner can update their uh, data and it will be valid for running one year. It means if any employee is uh, submitting, any pensioner is submitting life certificate on 1st June, it will be valid to 30 of May on the next, next year. So, uh, we, uh, we are having uh, uh, the agreement with the CSE and uh, uh, any employee can go to the CSE center, it will be available to the vicinity of the employee and they can get the life certificate updated. There is no need to come to the bank or even to the PF office. Uh, uh, so, this inconvenience has come down. Uh, now, uh, uh, this uh, pensioner portal is now available on EPFO website where you, a pensioner can fetch all those data regarding PPO, area payment and other thing. Whatsoever uh, the information about the pensioner it is available. Even pensioner can see their passbook also. We are uh, for any of the employer who is defaulting. We are inspecting those establishment. We are initiating quasi judicial inquiry. We are filing FIR. There is punitive provision. During the quasi judicial procedure, Employer was having the problem to come to the office and uh, this COVID period especially. So, what we have done, we have started the virtual mode hearing. So, through video conferencing, we are uh, conducting 7A inquiry and 14 inquiry. So, employer are feeling uh, very happy about it that uh, they can uh, attend the 7A inquiry by doing the work in their establishment itself. Uh, uh, there, is, there are exempted establishment. Exempted establishments are those establishments which are covered under the act but exempted uh, from the scheme, they can run their scheme on its own. Uh, so, uh, there were, uh, there were uh, the uh, communication gap between the exempted and unexempted. We have made everything on electronic mode. So, they can transfer the money, they can transfer the member uh, uh, account, everything through online procedure. Even we are monitoring, they are functioning through online portal. And, uh, oh, there are many big employer who are having the number of contract, many number of contractual uh, establishment. And uh, now uh, there is tendency to outsource each and every part of the work. So there was need to monitor their uh, performance in the contractual area. So what uh, we have done, we have made a portal of principal employer portal in which a principal employer has to, definitely he has to enter the details of the contractual employer, employee and employer and we, uh, we are monitoring them. So, we have called all those big, big employer. We told that it is mandatory. They will fill their uh, uh, contractual employee details so that we shall monitor and nobody should deprive of the benefit because it is the beneficial legislative. Many benefits are of welfare nature, old age benefit. Even a person is working for one month, they can get uh, pension. After his death, uh, uh, his uh, dependent nominee will get the pension for whole life. Uh, if uh, their uh, children are incapacitated, uh, handicapped, they, they will get whole life pension. The children pension up to uh, age of 25 years, they will get the pension. Even uh, the uh, insurance, they will get up to the 7 lakhs. So, it is very beneficial nature of the uh, act and legislation. And the uh, government of India is having the idea to give a benefit to all eligible employees. And uh, it is our job to provide all benefit to the all eligible employees. So, uh, we hope that uh, this uh, information uh, will reach to each uh, and every beneficiary and uh, we shall better uh, do our service uh, with the help of ITES. Thank you.